What's going on everybody? My name is Adam and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over three easy trippy music video effects that you can add to your next video. You might already know how to do these music video effects, but if you don't, go ahead and stick around. I'll show you how to do it. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. But before we do that, if you're new here, welcome to the culture. We're dropping new videos every week. Go ahead and smash that like button. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're interested in learning about music video effects. Let's go ahead and get into the screen. All right, dope. So now we're in Adobe Premiere Pro. And what I've done now is I've laid out three video tracks. So I have this guy right here, this guy right here, this guy right here. So let's go ahead and get started with this first track. And so our first effect is gonna be a dope trippy color effect. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this clip. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold an option on my Mac keyboard, or if you're using a Windows computer, you use Alt. And so what I do is I just press option and I drag up. And now we have a duplicated clip. And so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna to go to my effects panel and I'm gonna go ahead and search up HLS. And we're gonna go ahead and grab this color balance HLS effect. And so obviously you can see it doesn't really do anything, but what we're gonna go ahead and do is come over here to our hue, click the stopwatch icon. Then I'm gonna go ahead and drag this to the front. And then I'm gonna go ahead and see this toggle at zero, zero. I'm just gonna drag it all the way to the right a whole bunch of times. And as you can see, it's cycling through colors. And so what I'm going to do now is just drag that keyframe to the end of our clip. And then we're going to go ahead and play this back. Super easy color cycle effect. Looks pretty awesome. But what we're gonna to do to spice this up is we're gonna go ahead and go to our opacity tab and make this 30 instead of 100. And as you can see now, it's a subtle strobe effect. It still looks pretty dope. But what we're gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and go to our scale and we're gonna go ahead and type in 110. And so now we have this trippy ghost-like effect, which looks pretty awesome. Super dope trippy ghost effect. And so for our next effect, we have this guy on a bicycle and we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. We're gonna duplicate our clip. So holding option or alt, drag up, looks great. We're gonna go ahead and look up turbulent displace. And so now this guy has a little liquid effect. So once we put our effect on, toggle this stopwatch animation, we're gonna to toggle that on. So if it's on, it should be blue. And so now we have our keyframe. We bring our keyframe to the front and then we go ahead and go to this 2048 um, toggle. We just drag that all the way to the right and then we'll go ahead and toggle this one as well to the right as well. And then we'll go ahead and just drag this all the way to the end of our clip. And as you can see, if we play that back, we have a nice trippy distort effect. Looks awesome. And so what we can do again is go ahead and go to our first clip and copy this HLS color balance effect. And we'll go ahead and drag that and paste it onto this clip. And so now we have a nice trippy distort with um, some added colors. And so what we're gonna go ahead and do again is um, come to our opacity tab turn it to 30 or 50. I'll do 50 for this one. And then once again, we'll scale this up to 110. And so now we have this trippy distort ghost effect. It looks super dope. And guys, these are some simple effects that you can use um, to add to your video. So let's move on to the next one. And so now what we're gonna go ahead and do is go to our effects panel and type in lens distort. And so now we have our lens distortion effect and we're gonna go ahead and drag that onto our clip. But before we do that, I forgot to duplicate this clip. So we'll go ahead and hold option and drag up. And we'll go ahead and drag this on our first clip. What you'll see is nothing really happens, but if you adjust this curvature, something will start to happen. So I like to go about negative 40. So you have a nice little distort effect, but if we go even further, so a nice little trippy like mirror type effect, looks pretty sick. And once again, we can just paste our color effect on it and we'll play that back. And now you have like a trippy liquid effect. So these effects are pretty simple to do. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. This video was super quick and all these effects were super simple to do. If you have an idea of an effect that you want me to do, go ahead and leave those in the comments and I'll check those out. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Don't forget, if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm dropping new videos every week. Smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It helps me out a lot. And guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Peace.